Marku Alain leads the way as the competitors start the first of three legs, which will cover 43 special stages, totalling some 315 miles. All but three of them are on gravel, and tyre choice, or for some drivers tyre availability, will be as important as horsepower and torque. The first leg is 14 stages and 83 miles. And much of it is in this man's backyard. Ewer Kankinen is on home ground and many of the competitors observed that you could practically see his house from every corner on every special stage. Unsurprisingly then, Kankinen established a blistering pace in the early stages and even put Marku Alain to shame and that's Alain with a history of opening very hard and very fast in the early stages of a rally. The Integrales were not running too well. Complaints about understeer were rampant, most of that down to the soft gravel rather than to the suspension or the tyres. And all of the Lancia Works drivers obliged to use the handbrake on several occasions to get the cars round the corners. So with Toyota setting the pace, Lancia not far behind, even the Mazdas were looking quite strong. Timo Salonen going very well in these early stages. Even so, it was quite clear who the front runners were going to be. Kankinen was fastest, the other Toyota pushing behind, and on the stages, cars were beginning to catch each other up. Harry Vattenen was running quite well, sixth fastest on the first and second stages, and making it look easy in the big limousine. Very smooth, very unflustered, and also very, very fast. But perhaps the most surprising of the fast drivers was Spanish driver Carlos Sainz, second quickest through the early stages, despite a rumbling, grumbling noise from the transmission, which defeated all of the team's efforts to trace it or remove it. Kankinen's early predictions that transmission could be a problem for all the teams were coming true already. He couldn't select fourth gear from the start of the rally. Perhaps with that in mind, Sainz decided that despite the noises, he was going to press on as hard as he could. It will break whether I drive hard or whether I drive soft, he said, so I'm just going to drive hard. Also driving hard, but to no real avail, Hanu Mikula with handling problems in the Mazda. He was slow at the beginning, slower still later on, and an unaccustomed eighth after stage two, tenth fastest overall on the stage. And that's despite all the work that went into the car overnight to try and cure the handling problem. Michael Erickson, though, had no such problems. He was third quickest on the second special stage, right behind the two Toyotas. At the end of stage three, he was actually placed fourth on the rally. still smooth and quiet, the big Mitsubishi. Kenneth Erickson, pushing hard in his Celica GT4, said he felt the car was underpowered. Although the Toyota engineers said that all three engines were identical, he was a little bit slower on all of the early stages than his teammates. <laughs> 